What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today I've got a new product from Discovery Optics. And uh, let me just say that I like it. I like it a lot. Um, <laughs> this has totally redefined um, how I feel about some of these companies that are out there. And uh, I just want to show you guys what comes with this. Um, this is um, a new scope that they have out. And uh, wow. I mean, handwritten um, quality control checklist and inspection. Handwritten. Um, you just don't see that very often. You got a chamois cloth, right? You've got your instruction manual uh, that comes with the uh, the optic. Now this this optic is the ED PRS five to twenty five by fifty six thirty four millimeter tube, and they built it for PRS shooters. So let's see what happens, right? Let's just see what happens. Uh, comes with a, uh, oh, this is a great idea. Um, this is a, uh, an optics brush. Let's see here. Oh, there it goes. So you can brush off your glass. Let's see. A little Allen. Comes with a magnification uh, throw lever. Um, it, I know you guys have probably seen some of these videos already. But it comes with three different um, sun caps, and um, I, I guess I guess technically, just depending upon how you want to shoot, is uh, you know, how much you want to uh, put into this, and uh, you know how how long you want it. You can get kind of ridiculous. Comes with a scope leveling kit. This is awesome to have. Comes with a set of rings. And um, I've heard some people say that they're really actually decent rings. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, let's see here. This is the uh, specification card. Let's see if there's anything else down in there. Nope. And then last but not least, we have the scope itself. So let me go ahead and put this box back over here. And uh, for YouTube, um, I am not doing anything other than showing an optic. So please don't demonize my video as I am not mounting this to a gun, at least not on camera. Um, so right now I'm just talking about this. Um, it does do 0.1 MRAD um, dialing. And uh, I can tell you that um, I've already had a little bit of a chance to kind of tinker with this thing. I'm going to put my throw lever uh, on there. And um, I can tell you that um, this thing is pretty darn legit, to be honest. Um, the clicks are very, very positive. Um, very positive and each click absolutely 100% lines up with the uh, marks on it um, does it is an illuminated um, scope so let's see it's, oh yeah the battery is already installed and it's kind of like an iron cross um, center which is nice um, aluminum or uh, parallax uh, all the way down to 25 yards and um, everybody's videos that I've seen so far say it's very accurate in the um, picking up of the actual yardages. Um, huge, huge turrets. Very easy to uh, turn. The zero stop is, is you know, your typical, um, well, I don't want to do that on camera because I don't want YouTube mad at me. But uh, good zero stops. Um, does come with the flip-up caps and a 
an eyepiece cover, which is very nice if you ask me, because I do not prefer flip caps on my eyepiece. I just do not. So this is kind of nice just to be able to put that on there to protect it while the gun's in its case and then pull it off and then whammo bammo. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to mount this thing, but we're going to do it off camera and then we'll be right back and uh, we'll talk more about just more about this Discovery Opt um, EDPRS scope. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. And uh, if I haven't mentioned this already, it's got enough weight to it. You could build a house with this thing. Seriously, you could pound some good nails with this thing. So we'll be right back. All right, so here we go. We got it mounted up on our Crate X. And uh, this is the gun that I intend to keep it on. Um, I don't know necessarily about the rings that came with this as far as whether or not I'm going to keep those. Only reason being is because this is an air gun. If it was a rifle, it'd be one thing. I think there's 20 MOA built into this rail. So if, in fact, it may have enough windage uh, to be able to get out to those longer distances. So we'll see. Uh, but if I have to, you know, we'll go ahead and do, you know, some adjustment with some rings. But overall, just the texture on the knobs is just phenomenal. Very easy to grab a hold of. Very easy to dial. Like I said, very positive, positive clicks, guys. I mean, you know, just... You can just hear that. And I mean, you know, no matter what I do, comes right back around and it lands right back. I mean, the, you know, a lot of times with scopes, you know, you'll go to adjust the, um, um, the turret and it just doesn't ever seem to line up with those those marks and uh, in fact this one absolutely does um, the the 34 millimeter tube is going to be great for gathering light um, I don't know I mean that, that seems awful long for 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 what I'm doing with this you know this is a, a NRL PRS setup and um, you know so my buddy Jesse's going to be running this one um, it's my gun I'm not getting rid of it uh, it's my optic I'm not getting rid of it um, but you know, my buddy wants to shoot some NRL and PRS. So I said, Hey man, I got a, I got a, um, an extra air gun if you just want to do it with that. And he said, absolutely. So, um, you know, good 180 degrees on the, um, on the, uh, throw lever, which is nice because, you know, if you're used to shooting at 11 power, 10 power, 10 and a half power, something like that, um, you know, you can just throw that lever straight up and down you don't you'll get used to the memory of where exactly you know it needs to be to give you the powers that you need it is obviously first focal plane so we don't have to worry about any kind of shift in in um point of impact um i cannot wait to get this thing out we've got a couple more days of cold weather here in northern michigan and then we are on a warm-up well we are going to be in the mid 40s at least all of next week so I am going to be at the range. I am going to be shooting some videos. You guys are going to be seeing what these things can do. Um, and I'm super excited to get out there. Um, you know, this gun in particular is one that I'm going to be shooting, uh, you know, to get everything set up. Um, as well as the uh, Profit 2, we're going to be shooting that. And uh, obviously the FX Panthera. So yeah. And, uh, but we're going to get those out there. We're going to see what we can't get done and we'll go from there. So till next time, I'm Moose. If you got any questions about this in the meantime, go ahead and drop them down below. Um, I have not really taken this thing out to the range yet, but we're going to check it out. We're going to set this zero stop. We're going to play with it. We're going to come back to zero. We're going to see, we're going to do the old Cyclops Joe freaking, you know, craziness and see what we can't do once we get this thing zeroed in. So bear with me, stick around. We're gonna bring you that video here coming up really soon. Till next time, be good to each other and God bless.